Hey Aries, what's going on? This is Serendipity Tarot coming to you with your weekly general love reading. We're going to find out what's going on with the person that you're dealing with, whoever you're connecting with. It could be someone you're dating and relationship with, okay? Situationship, all right? It could be someone who's just in your energy, an ex, past lover. We're going to find out. So this could resonate for you if Aries is in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. This is general, so it will not resonate for every single Aries out there. So take what resonates and leave the rest. I do several love readings on my channel for each zodiac sign every month. Weekly love readings. So if this one doesn't resonate, you're bound to find one that does. Please do check out my other videos. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Show me some love. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification button. Also, I'm doing private love readings, okay? So if you're interested in a private reading, please do hit me up. Send me an email. I have a special promotion going on till June 15th. If you want to lock in that deal, go ahead and email me before June 15th. Okay, so Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to use the Light Sears Tarot for the main spread. And I have the Mystic Mondays, another one of my favorites, to clarify. If you're interested in purchasing any of these decks, the Amazon link is in the description. So let's get right into your reading, Aries. Who are you dealing with? What is the deal? Messages, love messages for the sign of Aries and their partner. Any insight into the situation? What do we need to know? Aries and their love life. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. All right, so the current energy between you and the person you're dealing with, Aries, we have the two of cups in reverse, okay? Well, you know what that is, right? A breakup. So, you know, someone could be walking away from this connection, but you guys had a very strong bond. I mean, really, really a loving, strong, emotional bond you guys once shared. But someone could be resistant. Someone could be walking away from this union. So there's a lack of coming together. Okay, there certainly could be recent or, you know could be really at any point right because this is timeless so yeah definitely some kind of breakup of some sort the challenge is to make up to show you know a person that you care take some kind of action moving forward towards them because i think that you guys really still love each other you know there's a lot of water here cancer cancer pisces scorpio energy but the nights are about taking action the cups was about emotion feelings so i do feel you could be dealing with someone who does not want this breakup they may have even walked away but now want to come in and show some kind of feelings and emotions because they do still love you okay they do see this union or well, they want to come together okay so the challenge is seeing if someone's going to take action, right, and bring this union back together. The recent past is the Nine of Wands in reverse, okay? So Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So someone who was very passionate about this, someone who felt for this relationship to the end is now giving up, okay? They decided that, you know what, I'm not going to put any more energy into this. I'm not doing this anymore, and I am walking away. I'm giving up on this entirely, right? So on your mind, Aries, what do we have? The Seven of Cups, okay? So you may have a lot of confusion here. This is you having a lot of emotions about this person. Again, a lot of water energy. It's also could be you looking at your other options in love, okay? If you're the one who got fed up and decided to give up on this, you could be looking at some other people that who is piquing your interest. You could be out there online dating, that kind of thing. Putting yourself out there casually dating, trying to get to know other people after some kind of breakup, Okay. So um, also with the Seven of Cups, this also could be, again, you know, lack of clarity, um, a direction regarding this person. But I feel more than anything, this could be you out there, you know, really trying to see what other um, love interests you have, right? So in the foundation where we have the Ten of Swords in reverse, okay? So someone, um, you know, may have saw this as an ending here, the Ten of Swords. It also could have been some kind of betrayal, okay? Um, you know, someone went behind someone's back, took advantage of them, left them devastated, okay? May even just neglected or abandoned them entirely here. Ten of Swords is about endings, right? But it's in reverse. So this is, could be certainly um, something here that's being resurrected or something, um, some kind of ending that someone is resisting here, okay? Who, who, someone who maybe you're dealing with, they do not want this ending here. They do not want to have this breakup and maybe taking some action, showing some feelings and emotions and making it up to you. I mean, he has a bouquet of roses. He certainly could be apologizing, asking for your forgiveness here, okay? After someone gave up, right? So coming into the moment, what do we have? 
the two of swords in reverse okay gemini libra aquarius energy someone was stuck someone has to make a head over heart decision regarding this connection and they will okay that's how things are going to be able to move forward okay because the two of swords someone was recently at a crossroads couldn't see straight felt like you know they, their eyes were blindfolded they couldn't see which way to go but now they're getting unstuck they're going to be able to make a decision all right so how do you see yourself aries you see yourself as a strength in reverse so you may be feeling like you're losing strength and hope in this, okay, lacking willpower, or just not really feeling confident about this situation anymore. You certainly could be dealing with the Leo here. The energy that your partner's bringing to the connection, what are they bringing? The magician in reverse, okay? They can be a little bit of a trickster. If not, this is just them not being able to manifest something here. I think you guys are both in the energy of just like at a point of almost giving up or not really sure about how to get things started up on the ground moving forward again, okay? I think you guys are both like, oh, I just don't know what to do about this. I'm just going to take the easy route and just do nothing, right? Or just give up on it because I'm just, I'm lacking confidence and faith in this. So in your emotions and feelings, Aries, your four of swords. So yeah, you're quiet. You're not communicating with this person. This is you resting, recovering, really, um, you know, saving your energy reserves, not putting in too much focus onto this connection. Um, really focusing on yourself and being quiet. So you certainly could have blocked communication with this person or just not really um speaking much, okay? Because you're holding back, you're recovering, you're you're um in your little safe place, okay? Not not talking, just keeping quiet. So what's the outcome for this? The Four of Cups, feeling bored, nonchalant, complacent here, okay? This certainly could be you with other love offers. If you're out there dating, casually dating, and trying to move on from this person, you could be feeling like a little bit at a standstill in your love life. Things are not happening, or you have some kind of disappointment or disinterest in other people, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You guys could have someone who wants to come um, into your life, who wants to take, it, take advantage of this opportunity and grow with you, who wants to offer you something real, a commitment. This, this King of Pentacles, he's like the real deal, guys. I mean, I'm not going to lie. He is a king. He is very much stable, sturdy. He's wholesome. He has something to offer you guys, okay? So you certainly could be dealing with a uh, an earth sign or someone who wants to, um, you know, bring stability into your life, who wants growth, who's thinking about the future, okay? So really good stuff. I don't feel like it's the same person. You certainly could have someone who wants to apologize after a breakup, Um but I feel like you're out there dating. I think that you're moving on. I think with this two of swords in reverse, you may have been stuck with this person. But I think that you're lacking faith that it's going to grow or, you know, that this is going to be anything. And I think your partner is, you know, lacking um, lacking manifestation or, or just thinking that it can take off too. So I think you guys are both going to accept it for what it is. And, you know, you're taking, you know, your time back. You're retreating. You're withdrawing from this person. And I think you reached a point where you're just like, wow, I don't know. There's nothing to do, you know, this kind of like, no one loves me. I feel just um sad. I feel bored. I feel disinterested in everyone that I'm talking to. Maybe you're out there on dating um, sites and everything. But you have someone in your foundation. You have someone who wants to offer you something here. So we're going to find out what's going on, okay? So let's get it on. So Aries, Aries, what's going on with Aries? What messages do we have for Aries about their love life? Any messages for Aries, please? Okay, we're going to start with the King of Pentacles. It could be someone who has something to offer you here, something real tangible. Also, it could be someone that you've been previously married to or you have kids with. Typically, the King of Pentacles is like, you know, the married um the guy who settled down who has white hairs <laughs> no i'm saying i'm kidding with you guys but you know typically he's married he has children he's oh he's settled wants commitment he's not in and out of your life he's not a knight okay so why is this king of pentacles if he's someone who is thinking about you or someone wants to bring you commitment it could be a past person or it could just be an entirely new person i feel like it's new because i feel like you guys are out there and you've moved on from this past person Okay, I really do feel that strongly, and I think you've taken a break, and now you're just like, I am done. I'm ready to put myself out there. I'm ready to date, see what's, see what love has to offer me, right? So, give us another good shuffle for my Aries out there. King of Pentacles. Let's start there. Why is the King of Pentacles here, please? All right, what do we have? Knight of Wands. So, someone's going to come rushing in, guys. 
Okay, and you know what? Knight of Wands typically is someone who rushes in and rushes back out. But with the King of Pentacles, he's here to stay. He's definitely, you know, stable. He's grounded, okay? so But you are going to have someone who's going to rush in very passionately, okay? And we have the Page of Swords, and they're going to communicate something to you, okay? Um, so we're going to go back to this. This is definitely in the foundation external to you. But yeah, I definitely feel like someone's going to communicate to you um, about some kind of stability. It certainly could be, you know, again, a past person who wants to come back passionately and swoop you off your feet and offer you something here because they do want to make up to you after this breaking or this ending here with the two of cups in reverse so let's start there the two cups in reverse you guys are tightly bound a very loving um you know emotional emotional bond you guys have at least at one point but it came to an end right judgment it was a final say a decision about this connection someone made and you guys decided to go separate ways okay or someone may have done something that led to this breakup Regardless, there's an ending. There's something here that was final. With the Ten of Swords and the Judgment, there's something here that's just like done, done. Finito, okay? Came to an end here. Why is the Judgment here, please? Give me some clarity on why the Judgment is here. Okay, what do we have? Yep, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So I think that you were looking back on this past with this person. You spent all this time, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten years, whatever. And you're just like, this person has, you know, it, it just didn't go anywhere it's like i've invested all my time and energy and it's been all this this years with this person and it's just like look what it's amounted to nothing it's like you know what do we 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 put all this effort for no reason i think that's what you guys are looking back on and i think that's what's allowing you to just let go of it okay the magician yeah so there's a i think someone wants to turn this around but I think you're at a point where it's just like, this was a poor investment, you know? Like, I just wasted my time with this person. So in the Knight of Cups, someone wants to come in to apologize, ask for some forgiveness, some kind of feelings and emotions, yeah, after some kind of big ending, the death, okay? Scorpio energy, okay? Magician, Scorpio, more Scorpio energy, heavy, heavy Scorpio. Page of Pentacles. So you have a person who not only wants to ask for forgiveness, but they want to bring stability back. They may want some kind of growth here with their Page of Pentacles. They want to build here, putting some time, energy, and effort. Whereas, you know, after some kind of big breakup, right? After maybe in a recent past, you guys have felt like you guys invested so much time into them and it just didn't go anywhere, right? So I do feel like after an ending, your person does want to bring back stability here. They want to ask for forgiveness. They want to apologize, Okay, now the Nine of Wands in the recent past is giving up, okay, after a long battle or a long journey with this person, someone that you were very passionate about, and you just, at a point where you just, you're exhausted, and you're just not wanting to put any more energy and effort into this, so someone just threw in the towel, gave up on it entirely, why is the Nine of Wands here? Yep, Six of Cups in reverse, okay? So this is nostalgia, looking back on this past situation, past person. You certainly could be dealing with this person for a very long time, like, you know, high school sweethearts type stuff. But, you know, you look back on the past and it's negative. It's negative recollections of the past. It's not happy, happy, good, you know, loving times. You look back on all the the hardships you guys went through, all the mean things that were said, the arguing, the fighting, the bickering, right? And so now you're in a place where you're just like, you know what, who, who else is out there? You know, who... Who do I have out there who I can maybe date? You know, who let's let me get back on Tinder or okay Cupid or one of these dating sites and seeing what are my other options in love. So I do feel like you may be looking elsewhere outside of this connection after a breakup. I don't think you're so quick to revisit this person again. So Seven of Cups, you know, you may be also very confused about love in general, about relationships, but I think this is you guys moving Moving away from this person and now looking at other options. Why is the Seven of Cups? And you may not have anyone in particular that you're thinking about, but you just, it may just be very like casual, just very starting, you know, just starting to connect the very beginning of dating. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles, guys. You guys have something that someone wants to offer you. And I feel like this is external to the other person because all this past person was bringing was the Page of Pentacles. So this was just a message of, of stability or getting back on the right track. But you guys have a new beginning, a new relationship that wants to come in. Wow, Six of Wands. Guys, and it's going to be very, um, it's going to bring a lot of stability to your life. It's really going to make you happy, feel wholesome. It's going to be some kind of big achieving. Um, You're going to get uh achieving moment. It's going to make you feel like you're being recognized 
or like you know this person really um knows yourself knows your worth here they're gonna make you feel really good on top of the world queen of pentacles so guys we have a queen of pentacles and a king of pentacles okay so i know that's not your energy but i really feel like whoever you're dealing with they're going to really really step up to the plate and bring you this commitment that you've been looking for, okay? Because the Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles, this is something that's going to really stand the test of time. Someone that you have a lot of potential to grow with, okay? Someone that you can like literally settle down, buy a home, buy a dog, have children, okay? Like all that, retire with, okay? So really strong, strong connection that's going to be very stable after you guys release or accept an ending here from this other person, okay? Because it's no good. It, you know, you wasted time with this person. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of negative reflections on the past. Six of, six of Cups in reverse. I think you guys are done, okay? And magician, they also could have been a little bit of a trickster fooling you. I mean, they're coming in as a knight and bringing you a damn page. So they're not really anything to be thinking about. And I think you guys have moved on and now you're looking elsewhere. And look what's coming in. Big old Ace of Pentacles and you're going to be the Queen of Pentacles. And they're bringing you the Six of Wands achieving something being victorious so that's beautiful yep you guys are single definitely you know leaving this past situation okay ten of swords in reverse i think that you're setting as an ending and if this person wants to come back and make up to you the ten of swords in reverse after a very very tragic betrayal whatever that was all about i think that you guys are like no i'm, I'm gonna be my myself i'm gonna invest in myself i'm gonna build myself back up this is you being emotionally um spiritually sound and just working on yourself okay working on your finances here um and you're not looking back okay i think that I think that you're just you're just really standing in your power and building yourself up, okay? So the two of swords in reverse, this is you making a decision moving forward. It may have been a, a really difficult decision. You felt like you were blindfolded, couldn't see things straight. I think it's because, you know, things are very convoluted with this past person. But I think that you see that whoever this new person is coming into life, that it's going to be victorious. It's going to really transform your life, okay? Yeah, hanged woman. So yeah, you were, you were very much stuck. Or if not... When this person comes into your life and then you see this other past person wants to come back, I think you're going to be in this hangman mode. You're going to be feeling stuck, not really sure how to make a decision moving forward. But you are going to make a decision because the two of swords is coming in the reverse. But you're going to be feeling a little bit stuck, feeling like you need to gain another perspective on things. Maybe you need another um, opinion or advice on this, on how to proceed things forward. Okay, the strength in reverse, this is your energy. This is, you know, the way you view yourself. You view yourself as maybe um, a little bit weak or not really feeling so confident about the situation, a little bit unsure of yourself. Okay, not really feeling as confident as you once was, possibly because this past person did a number on you, okay? But the strength in reverse, um, why, did, why is the strength in reverse here? You could be dealing with it, Leo. Okay, so you're not really feeling like the, the most confident person, two of wands in reverse. So you're feeling a little bit, um, a little bit stagnant or not sure how to move things forward, okay? Um, this is you kind of like resisting this new, possibly this new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Yeah, but look, there's a lot of positive change that's coming towards your life, the world. This is like a closing of a past cycle, beginning of a new cycle. So if you're stuck when this, when this new person comes in, if you're a little unsure, a little bit guarded, not really sure if they're going to, you know, be in and out of your life or, you know, cause some kind of really big um horrible ending like this past person rest assured that there's going to be positive change there's a lot of positive forward movement outcomes that's coming into your life so you know put put it into the hands of the universe you know don't carry that burden um and your person has the magician in reverse why is the magician in reverse here i think once they see that you've given up on them and that you're moving towards new love or a new, this new beginning i think they're going to be feeling a little powerless or feeling weak okay Yep, four of pentacles in reverse. They're feeling very anxious, guys. They're now maybe wanting to open up here. I feel like they now want to open up. And if they've been keeping back or holding things from you, they want to be vulnerable. Okay, yeah, I feel like the four of pentacles in reverse. This person could be now trying to come back in your life. Now wanting to be, um, you know, let down their guard, let you in. Because now they see you possibly moving on. Why is the four of pentacles here? They also could be deciding that, you know, they're going to have to eventually just drop it, right? Because they're going to see that you're not for it. Yep, the fool. They want a beginning, guys. Okay, this person, this past person that you're dealing with, they want a beginning. They want to take a risk on this. Okay, but they're not able to manifest this because I think you moved on, okay? And with the four of cups, you're bored. You're disinterested in them. 
Now, the Four of Swords, you're definitely going to be taking a little bit of a break, you know, spending a lot of time with yourself because you have you have a lot of conflicting energy. Nine of Swords, you know, up in your head, frustrated, confused, very stressed, okay? You need some time to yourself. So please do that. Four of Swords is definitely saying that you're, you're, you're recovering, you're resting, you know, you're re rejuvenating. You're spending a lot of time um, by yourself, but also just withdrawing, okay, entirely. Okay, yeah, there you go. Four of Swords again. Okay, Four of Swords over Four of Swords. So yeah, a lot of recovering energy after this past situation because it's gotten you really feeling very stressed, um, a lot of conflict around you, feeling very very much up in your head. So also could be sleepless nights and just a lack of clarity, right? But you're, you're going to have to rest. You're going to have to recover. And I think um, that's going to allow you to get your energy back, okay? But coming um, as the outcome, we have the Four of Cups. So you feeling disinterested, um, in a situation, certainly someone could be offering you something, but you're maybe rejecting this offer here, okay? I feel like you're just like, oh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I think you kind of just want to be by yourself with that Nine of Pentacles, okay? And that's why you're stuck. I don't think you're really so sure about this new beginning, okay? <laughs> I feel like you're blocking this new beginning, guys. I mean, you're like so complacent. You're like, ah, I don't know. I just got out of a relationship. Four Cups. Why is this Four Cups? Is this four cups here, please? Yeah, I don't think you're really wanting to have this new beginning, okay? Three of Pentacles and Versus is you um, not wanting to collaborate and come together with other people. If this is like dating or meeting someone else, you're kind of a little bit blocked. You're kind of a little bit guarded, taking a step back. You're not so quick to kind of just start something new, okay? But yeah, you have this King of Pentacles in your energy, someone who wants to um, make some kind of move or advancement towards you, and they're going to come in. They want to come in with a lot of passion here with the Knight of Wands and maybe even communicate to you. They certainly could be also looking at your social media, like stalking you, trying to find out what's going on with you, okay? Um, certainly when you're first getting to know someone online dating, there's so much information to know. You know, you guys are pretty much strangers, so they can be on your Facebook or your Instagram looking at or your stories and that kind of thing. But yeah, someone wants to come in and offer you the stability okay they view you as the queen of pentacles they view you as adding substance to their life they see a lot of growth and potential here so please don't block that person out if someone comes here someone comes into your life wanting this new beginning they they're definitely serious guys okay they're offering you this big old ace of pentacles and it's going to be victorious here with the six of wands okay so that's what i have for you aries let me know if this resonates like share comment and subscribe and let me know if you want a per, um, private personal reading um my email is in the description box, okay? So I'll be there next week for another general love reading, guys. All right, bye-bye. Have a great weekend.